It is time once again for Nets Post Game Plus on YesNetwork.com, presented by Verizon Fios. I'm Bob Lorenz. On Wednesday night, the Nets continue to four-game homestand with a stiff test. The reigning NBA champion Miami Heat, who won their first two games with Brooklyn by 30 and 13 points. A prior to action, Brooklyn received some good news when it was announced that Brook Lopez will replace the injured Rajon Rondo on the Eastern Conference All-Star team. Lopez went out and played well, but after hanging with Miami through the first half, the Nets' year-long third-quarter woes did them in. 105-85, Miami wins it. Brooklyn outscored 36-14 to by the Heat in the third, with Miami scoring the most points in a quarter that any team has hung on the Nets this season. Lopez was the high man for the Nets with 21, while Joe Johnson added 16 in the loss. The Heat's big three, LeVon James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh, combined to score 61 points on over 54% shooting. Here's the interim head coach, P.J. Carlissimo, on LeBron. I mean, he, yeah, he is great. But I, again, I thought I thought Gerald and Bogues, when they were when they were guarding him, did did a good job. It's you know, it, it was. I'm, I'm Lebron's going to get his, no matter what you do. Uh, you, you try and make him work. Um, the, the, the offensive rebounds that that they got, the second and third chance opportunities. It wasn't just their bigs beating our bigs. It was a lot of like you know, we call them fifty fifties. Ball bounced out, or the ball bounced off the floor. They got. All, virtually everyone the entire night that killed us the way we handled the ball against the uh, pressure killed us um, I'm not taking anything away from LeBron but LeBron's a given uh, you, you got to beat he's going to play well uh, you know maybe once in a while he's not going to play well and help you but I, I wasn't counting I don't think anybody counts on LeBron cooperating he, he's going to get his you can make him work but we felt we had to take care of the ball we didn't. We felt we had a rebound. We did not. We felt we had to make threes. We didn't do that either. So it, it's, you know, it's on us. I, they had a lot to do with why we didn't do those things, but it was on us. Played great basketball. You know, we were right there for uh, about the first 30 minutes of the game, you know, give or take. And then uh, they made a little run, and we just uh, didn't respond. What's the, kind of the overall feeling? A lot of guys leaving early out of the locker room, you could tell. Um, yeah, I, I think we're just disappointing ourselves. You know, we really uh, let this one get away, uh, you know. Uh, we felt we were playing great ball uh, up to about midway through the third quarter. And like I said, uh, we uh, they got on a little long run. Uh, we didn't really respond, you know, and that was it. Uh, it's an honor, you know. Um, I obviously wouldn't be there if it weren't for my team, you know. We've been playing uh, very high-quality basketball this entire season, you know. And so, you know, I just uh, I got to thank them, you know. But um, uh, we're very disappointed, you know, we didn't get the win tonight. Well, the Nets will look to bounce back Friday night when they face another quality team, the Chicago Bulls, who are right with Brooklyn in the Eastern Conference standings. Coverage on Yes begins at 7 o'clock. For now, I'm Bob Lorenz. Thanks for watching Nets Post Game Plus on YesNetwork.com. Presented by Verizon Fios.